probably just play with my friends and having fun. I like defense more. Get to hit people. So I'm at cornerback and I saw that he was rolling out, so I rolled to the middle of the field and then I caught the ball, intercepted it, and I was running. I tried to juke him and I went left and right and I kind of slipped, but Carson, he came from behind because he was going to try to block the person and hit me instead of the person. Mm -hmm. And then he fell on me and I went to the sidelines, took it all off, and our trainer Jessica looked at it and was like, it's probably broken. I was like, nah, it's probably fractured. It was fractured. And then we went to the doctor the day after that and they said nothing was wrong with it, but then we went uh, after the Union Hill game, we went back to the doctor the next day because it didn't look like it was getting any better. And then, yeah, they said it was broken. Mm -hmm. A slight break. Oh, well, his potential is through the roof, no doubt. The only thing that can stop him from getting better is himself. Sure. If he lets himself get in the way. Um, obviously, injury stopped him this year, so we got to stay healthy. Uh, that injury probably could have been a lot worse had he not been, you know, as, as fit as he was and as strong as he was, and the work that he had put in the, uh, the weight room. It's just an odd injury. It's just one of those deals where you, you don't expect a 360-pound kid to fall on you just right. You know? mm. And uh, so, from there, no doubt, his, his potential was sky high. It was hard on Riley. Riley struggled. Riley was in the locker room at the state game suiting out. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, I'm suiting out. No, you, you were told to keep that sling on. Unless you're going to wear that sling with your <laughs> right. uniform on. Right. But it was hard on him, and I don't think people realize. Sure. You know, you take take an athlete and take him out of the game, how difficult it is on him. And, uh, you know, but uh, you you got to force those young kids to hit. Mm -hmm. if, if you fight it, look, if we would have pushed that, we could be getting into you know, potential baseball career and all other things. Yeah. But, you know, we, we're concerned about his health. Super proud of the way the kids stepped up. You know, everybody stepped up and, and made a difference. I was just physically gifted for his age. I mean, you know, from the time he was in seventh or eighth grade, um, we, you could just see it in the weight room. He was committed in the weight room. Uh, and you just watch his body develop, and you're like, man, that, that kid just, his, his body shouldn't look like that at, at his age. So physically, he had an advantage. Um, and then he's just, he's a skilled athlete. It doesn't matter what sport you're playing. Um, he's, a, he's a potential college baseball player. You know, he's the freshman. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he was a newcomer of the year last mm -hmm. year in baseball. And, and we, told people, look, he's, he's probably going to do something in football, too, and here we are in football, he's doing it. Um, basketball, um, he, he steps out and have to, helps the basketball team, uh, runs on uh, relays and tracks, so just an all-around athlete. Um, and, you know, the hardest thing with those kids is to keep them humble. Mm. Uh, when you get a young kid that has so much success, you got to keep them humble. So you know, that'll be the challenge for us in the future, just to keep him humble, humble and keep him hungry. Uh, I guess pick up where I left off and uh, we do the same thing, go stay and hopefully win it. I'm very motivated to go, go play more.